Alvarez the batter. Jordan goes after the first one, sends it to the center field. Julio Rodriguez back near the track, and he puts it away on the warning track. Jordan hit one almost 400 feet, but the straightaway center field number Drake two. Cabbage at the bottom. First left-handed hitters. Got in on Yiner, who hits one towards short, cut off by the third baseman, Josh Rojas. So Luis Castillo works around a first inning error. Rodriguez last year as hot as anybody. Times he was retired was on a strikeout. Ground ball playable. Bregman backhands it nicely. Throws across to get Julio Rodriguez to end the inning. So Hunter. Jeremy might feel pretty good coming out of the break. But he's created a pretty good reputation playing a lot of games and playing. His home run in the 18th inning. Yeah, that was. There's a base hit again against Castillo. So Jeremy has some of the best numbers other than Alvarez on this team. Take a pretty good lead at first. Does not go as Myers is down. Take pops went up. Foul. Playable in foul territory. Ty France stays with it and makes the catch. Joey and Trey against Hunter Brown. Just like tonight. Left-handed hitter's done better against Luis Castillo. This left-handed hitter's done better against Luis Castillo for Luis. He gets a fastball to hit, but he grounds one to the right side, and Loper Fito retired for the final out of the inning. Astros with one hit and one left. We head to the bottom of the second scoreless. Simon transferred to double-A Corpus, effective today, and Kyle Tucker, he... Game he played, and now here we are on July 19th. A little pop-up. Will Bregman be able to get there? Pena's backing him up, and it's Bregman who stays with it for the catch. Jeremy was over there as well, just in case. Here's Robert D.H. Mitch Garver. That more normal five spot. There's a call third strike, 97 right down the middle. That's three strikeouts for Brown and two quick outs here. It's amazing. And there's a couple reasons bringing guys who don't. Yet the strikeout numbers are still here. 25.9% last year. This ball hit hard into right center field, and that's going to be down into the wall. Jorge Polanco has extra bases. Take Myers plays it back in. That'll be the first hit for the Mariners tonight. And they brought Polanco over in the hopes of more contact like you just saw. He actually got a fastball on that outside edge and pulled it into that right center field gap. Ball just kept moving away from Jake Myers who looked like he almost had a beat on it. Yeah, I agree. I think when that ball went up. Ty just turned 30 to the Astros and any other team. In baseball, and that one surprisingly is foul because whenever Ty France hits against the Astros, as he pitches with Trey. This one right towards first has a little spin on it, but Singleton hangs in there and flips it to Hunter Brown to end the inning. So the Mariners get their first hit and strand one as well. We head to the third scoreless. Go in the third. Cabbage hitting in the nine steal. Mauricio Dubon and Chad, all right hand starters. The Astros will. Guys, the reason why they are where they are in first. Well, think about it. just been tight matchups, but that's what this pitching staff does. Trey Cabbage into center field for a base hit with Trey Speed. He'll get to second base easily. So Trey, who now has more extra base hits than the like a call third strike his first time up around the bunt bunts it towards third the play will be made to first and it gets away from ty france here comes cabbage he's gonna score astros in front one to nothing altuve a bunt hit. have a big inning that one's wins in any of those four games how would not have a at bats with the bases loaded than anybody else and he comes through with a base hit into right field in comes altuve here comes bregman he's gonna score the throw goes into second. It's three nothing Astros. Unbelievable. With Cal Raleigh wondering why Robles didn't try to throw the ball home. This ball grounded to the right side. France is going to go to second for a one. The return not in time to get Singleton. Mariners get their first out of the inning on a fielder's choice. It's now first and third as Singleton grounds out. Good hustle by John to continue this inning and not roll into that double play. France did a good job of giving that feed. Crawford had to kind of gauge how hard he.
Infield in the middle is kind of back. The corner against Castillo in the third. Jeremy one for. That one's at the bottom of the zone. Ground ball, third base, could be two. Rojas to second for one, and they turn a double play on Pena. So Castillo gets second best record in the American League, and the Phillies have off. Really skies one into shallow left field. Easy play for Joey Loperfito. And there's one away in the third. Playing each other at least a half dozen times every spring. Robles. And he's hit as a Mariner. He's now 12 for 32 with Seattle after not hitting much with the Nationals earlier this year in limited time. Oh, one out base runner for Seattle. And hits this ball to center. Back goes Myers, makes a running catch. Slowed up as he got to the ball, but that ball was hit hard by JP, but out number two. Now, word from Buick GMC. First pitch. Rojas was a 20 seasons in their minor leagues before the trade to Arizona. There's a base hit into right field. First to third goes Robles. The throw from right field is a good one. Trey Cabbage made it a close play. But just first with most of his damage via the home run. Getting ahead 0 and 2. When you watch how Hunter pitched to Julio Rodriguez and then you see the last two pitches kind of reinforces your idea that they may have been pitching around Julio in that situation which is crazy. Cal is one for eight against Hunter with four strikeouts. Fastball's gotten him three of those four times. Line drive caught by Altuve kind of jumped just for show as that ball nestled.